Quiet on the set! Hi friends, you're watching the Pin Cut Sew YouTube channel. Today I have a cool tutorial for you. The other day our friends came over to sew with us and one of my friend's daughters was carrying this really cool tote bag and it had all these scraps of t-shirt fabric on it and they were slit open to curl up like this. And I thought it was so cool that I wanted to try it myself. So after you learn how to do this technique, you can use it for all kinds of things like your clothes or tote bags or a cool zipper pops like I made. So I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Give us some love, this being our first video and I hope there are many more to come. Let's get started. For this project, you're going to need some t-shirt scraps or knit fabrics and some iron-on interfacing, your scissors, and your iron. I'm going to start by cutting your t-shirt fabric the size you want it for your project, whatever that may be. I'm making a basic zipper pouch. Then you want to cut squares of other t-shirts. Mine are two and a half inches. Okay, you can see that I have sewn around all of my squares. A little closer than a quarter inch away from each edge. You can see the edges are already starting to curl and that's what you want. I also sewed some extra lines of stitching on some of my squares, this one and this one, because now I'm going to start the cutouts. So you take your scissors, making sure you're only getting the top layer, not the bottom, and you start cutting, slashing your squares, like so. Now, if you stretch the edges a little, you can see the edges of t-shirt fabric curl when you do that. Pretty cool. You can hear the dog I'm watching clack, clack, clacking on the floor. That's cool. going to go ahead and trim and sew some more on here to match this one. I'll do that. All right, here's my finished fabric. Isn't it pretty? So now that you've made your fabric, you can decide what kind of project you want to turn it into. Natalie suggested leg warmers. That would be kind of fun. And then I said, hey, what about a doll blanket or an ever after high blanket? So if you're going to use it for a floppier project, you don't need to put the interfacing on the back. But I'm going to go get busy on my zipper pouch. So here's my finished product. It would be really fun to use this idea on a tote bag, maybe, if you made a bigger rectangle. Or even a big patchwork blanket if you sewed squares together with an underlayer. That'd be cool. Or if you took an old t-shirt, not an old t-shirt, but a t-shirt that you do wear and layer some things underneath it and snip up your t-shirt. That'd be fun too. Or you can make a cool zippy pouch like me. This is what I decided to do with mine. So I hope you like this tutorial. Next time I'm going to show you how to make these cute t-shirt tassels. Endless ways to upcycle t-shirts. So cheers and happy sewing. <laughs>